Tonight from inside Alabama's legislature, lawmakers have now passed a bill that would give people a longer grace period before their driver's licenses are suspended. That bill now goes to the governor, WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis, live with more on the proposal. And Aaron, this did receive bipartisan support. It did, Mark, and supporters and advocates have been working on this bill for years for it to finally be able to pass. Now, under current law, someone could have their driver's license suspended for missing a court date or failing to pay a fine or a fee. If this new bill is signed into law, it would give people a grace period. Alabama Appleseed reported in 2021 nearly 170,000 Alabamians had their driver's license suspended for debt-based reasons their inability to pay uh, their fines, fees, or tickets, or they miss court for whatever reason. Not having a license impacts more than the driver. When you think about sort of our um, workforce shortage that we have. We had the opportunity to get a job at Mercedes, um, but she did not have the driver's license even to get, or that ID to even get through the gate to have the interview. That's what inspired Alabama Appleseed to present Senator Marika Coleman with Senate Bill 154 before she became a senator. When I served in the Alabama House of Representatives. The bill passed and if signed by Governor Kay Ivey, it will allow someone to miss one post-adjudication court hearing in traffic cases and their driver's license won't be suspended. I can tell you the amount of clients I've had who have missed court, particularly for a variety of reasons. No matter the reason, you can miss. The bill also gives someone the opportunity to miss three payments on a ticket. What sort of impact will this have on the court systems, if any at all? Now there's a pathway to take care of what they need to take care of while retaining their ability to drive and go to work and earn money to actually pay, pay off their tickets. Coleman says this will help all Alabamians, but especially lower income families who sometimes have a more difficult time paying fees. But for those main things, housing, employment and transportation, those hit low income communities harder than anybody else. Now, Governor Kay Ivey will hold a ceremonial bill signing tomorrow, and this bill is not on the list. Her office says they're still waiting transmission of the bill and look forward to its review. Mark. Aaron Davis with the update for us tonight from the state capitol. Thank you. If Governor Ivey does sign the bill, it would go into effect this October. In the meantime, lawmakers are also expected to give final passage this week to the state's general fund budget and the record-breaking education trust fund. That education budget proposal includes one-time $100 rebates for Alabama income tax filers. It would also give teachers a 2% pay raise. If passed, the two budgets would then go to Governor Ivy for her signature.